Hello Doraemons! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have the 10th Jan Unix question. So I found that the Unix question asked in IRA is getting a bit different these days, which I observed for past two IRAs. And the pattern has been a very different regarding to the previous ones asked in the IRA. So this video, I'm making it to give you an overview about how to solve this type of question so that I thought it will be useful for you to solve the Unix question. So let's get into the question and let's solve it. So we have the sample input and output. We have the general story, which they usually give in the question. And uh, the data is about the course availability and it has the course instructor and price. And they have given like based on the price, it's going to be the courses are going to be divided into different packages. Like if the course amount is zero, then it is a free plan. If it is less than 500, then it is a gold plan. And if it is greater than or equal to 500, then it is under premium plan. So that's what is given over here. So we're going to write code for this. So in the first line, as you can see, it's course, instructor, and price. And see the output. It is course, price, and plan. And looking to the first row of data, it is web development team and 749. Whereas in the output, you can see it's web development 749 and premium. So it's a bit different question. So let's get to solve it. So I'll start with the off command. So better give space. I usually don't leave space over here and think uh, like sitting here without knowing what where I made mistake. So this will be the major mistake. So make sure you avoid it. Awk space always and put a single colon and then write a begin and again a space and then the curly braces and put the FS field separator which is pipe and here I'm going to declare a small variable called C. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Okay. So after this, what we're going to do is we're going to only compare the price and the print premium gold or free. So I'm just going to write over here if dollar three is greater than or equal to 500 then it should print dollar one and dollar three and it should print as premium Okay, now let's run and see like we'll get a weird output as I'm just warning you of this. So for web development, we got premium and for 749 also we got premium and for course ID price, we got premium because this um, like the string was also converted to a number. It also got compared to it. So that's why we're getting this. So I'll tell you how to avoid it and uh, let's complete the other parts. So here else if so here we, we are going to just put else if dollar three is less than 500 and we should also consider one more case here we also have a case of zero so if it is less than 500 zero is also considered as less than 500 so to avoid that what we are going to do is and dollar three is not equal to zero so it don't confuse get confused with the free plan so here i'm just going to again print the same line and replace it with gold And now let's run and see it. Oops, it showed. Okay, there is some. Okay, no problem. Let's put it inside the else so that it won't give any error. And below this, if 
I am giving another else part and printing the same as a free plan. Free. So now here I am going to just put free. And now let's run and see it. There is something missing. Can you find anything missing? Okay. Yeah, so I didn't close this else part, so that's what is missing. Now let's run it. Yeah, so we got course ID, price premium, and web development premium, 450 gold, 799 premium, and zero for free. So now, as we have got these things, so here at every point, I'm going to increase this variable as C means that there is a row printed from this thing like at least one row has been printed so when this course price plan should be printed is when there is no row printed so here i'm going to write another thing like if c is equal to equal to zero then alone print So now what I'm going to do to avoid this thing is I'm going to just oh, completely avoid the first row which is nr is greater than 1 and here I'm going to just print course, price and plan. So just I'll just copy paste it from here and paste it and run it okay so that's it for this question i think it is helpful for you and it is a very easy question so we have to just change the things and another way you can use it you can use a variable to store this premium gold and free and print it in the end too but you can try that on your own because i am going to give one kind of solution and you can work and try to work on different solutions like this so i hope this video was helpful and that you liked it so if you liked it share it with your friends and if you want to practice this question on your own i also give the link to this question in my description and such questions like different questions which is asked in the ira so that you can practice from those questions and perform better in the next one so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one make sure you subscribe to my channel so i post every alternate day so if you subscribe you'll not miss my videos and keep learning and keep rocking bye bye doraemons